Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to sum the top five values from a range and this example can easily be adapted to sum just the top three or the top ten or the top eight or whatever you need. Now I'm going to achieve this with a formula and this formula will use the sum product function and the large function. That is how I'm going to achieve this. Some of you may have heard me talk about the sum product function before as I am a massive fan. It is possibly my favorite function of all and it's going to be needed here. So let's get stuck straight into it and let's start off with the sum product function. So if I type equals sum product with an opening bracket, it prompts me for an array. And that is where I will use the large function. Now the large function can return the largest numbers from a range. So you may be aware of max, which returns the biggest value in a range, and large will return the second largest or the fifth largest uh, values. Now I want the top five. I want one, two, five. So in this large function, for the array, I will highlight the range of cells, which for me right now is A2 to A13, followed by a comma, and then I have to give it the kth value. So this is normally where you would type 3 for the third largest, or 5 for the fifth largest. I want the top 5, so I'm going to type a curly brace. So what I'm doing here is I'm opening up an array constant. So rather than returning a single value, I want to return an array of values, i.e. 1 to 5. So I'm going to type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, followed by a closing curly brace, closing off that array constant. So it will return the first, second, third, fourth and fifth largest values. I will close off the large function, close off the sum product function. It's important I use some product here, which is a type of array function. Uh, if I don't and I use a normal sum function, you can do that, but you will need to run that as an array function. So if you did that, take that approach, you would have to do control shift enter. But by using some product, I don't have to worry about that stuff. I can press enter like a normal formula and that will do the job. I've returned the value of 69 which if we look at the largest values in this small range of cells, they would be number nine, number 12, number 14, number 11, and number 23, which now I've selected them, if you can see in the bottom corner of my screen, is 69. Those five total 69, that is correct. And if you wanted something different, like just the top three values or the top 10, as you can imagine, you simply adjust that array constant. So this will work very nicely in your reports, so you get exactly what you want. Instead of summing everything, if you're just interested in something like the top five, this formula does the job nice and simple. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that video useful. And please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. And also come see us at computergargar.com.